Welcome to Excel in a minute. Nested equations are bound to be lengthy. And in this lesson, we are going to show how to encapsulate a two-way x lookup with the lambda function. Before all else, recall that x lookup searches an array and returns the first match of the lookup value. Also, it can look up values from a different array and return a value from a same row in another column. While the lambda is a function that allows users to create their own function. As an example, we have here a menu of milk tea drinks and a list of toppings. Beside it is a dynamic checkout counter. To demonstrate how the counter works, let's find the price for two large cups of brown sugar milk tea with Oreo toppings. Set the item to brown sugar milk tea, size to large, the toppings to Oreo, and quantity to two. Now we'll create our nested X lookup function in order to create a working milk tea checkout function. The first x lookup will have cell G5 as the lookup value, and B5 to B8 as its range, this will be for our item. Now, nest another x lookup function which has cell G6 as the lookup, and C4 to D4 as the lookup array, and C5 to D8 as the return array. This will return the price of our selected item by size. Add a multiplier to cell G8 for the quantity. Next, we'll add the x lookup function for the toppings. Add another x lookup function with g10 as the lookup, b11 to b14 as the range, and c11 to c14 as the return array, add the quantity multiplier afterwards. This is an example of a nested x lookup function. Press enter and it returns $22. Seeing that the equation works, let's integrate the lambda function to save it as a custom function where i, s, q, and t represent item, size, quantity, and topping, respectively. And the cell references are g5, g6, g8, and g10. Saving the equation, let's see if it returns the same value. And there you have it, it returned $22 as well. You just learned how to perform a two-way X lookup with the Lambda function. Thank you for your time. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Excel in a minute. You may also check out the link below to download the presentation. We hope to see you in the next lesson.